version Acredenza, which was also pretty fun. Acredenza, 2A, yeah, yeah. and then cancels, great, great game. There's a PS2 version, and there's another arcade revision. Correct. And then MB Actors Again came out arcade, and then PS2. And now we are on NBA ACC version 1.4. Melty Blood Actors Again current code. Awesome. Start. And right now we have uh, Inso. Inso plays multiple characters, but I would say his strongest definitely is Fnania. Uh, that's what he's known for. Uh, and Goichi playing his Fnania. Uh, easily the best Fnania in the world. Uh, yeah, but this character's not that good. <laughs> Yes, which is more impressive. Uh, he may or may not bring out his CR later, depending on how the matchup goes. Yeah, I um, think if he loses the game, he's going to play CR. For sure. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I guess a lot of people are probably not familiar with Melty Blood. Um, talk a little bit about the characters. Uh, as you're about to see, uh, Fakia is basically a set play character. She yeah. has great normals, but uh, you can see leaving this corner is it's gonna be hard. Uh, going to be impossible. Uh, oh, good match, actually. Um, Melty Bud very much about air mobility, and now Fakia yeah, very good at taking that away from you. Uh, her little picks that she places after a short delay become air unblockable. Um, and she's very, she makes it very, very difficult to uh, kind of get out of the corner when she started working. Goichi, obviously, a complete master at it. Well, Nanya has it better than most characters does because he has a real DP. Mm -hmm. So a lot of, so there's some of her pressure that he can just DP out of it. She actually has to evade it one way or another. Sure. But yeah. there's some ways that she can just walk you down completely with the pigs sure. and uh, playing tongues. Yeah, absolutely. And Ephrania actually has, um, so I guess the moon system is super quick. Uh, <laughs> a lot to cover. Um, each character has a crescent, a half, and a full moon variation. And they're all very different. They all have their own system mechanics. They all have their own normals. Um, they all work differently. So when you refer to a character, we refer to them as full moon Nanya, who is different than crescent moon Nanya or half moon Nanya. And full moon Nanya, his DP is actually, uh, he gets a full combo off of it for a pretty appreciable amount of damage. Uh, so risk award is uh, pretty scary against him. The risk award for him on his DP is pretty good. But uh, right now, you can see there's really not even a time to uh, DP. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. Goichi wins the first game rather convincingly. There. Pretty convincingly. Goichi, uh, even yeah. though it takes a while, because Akia has, a, what, the highest life total in the game? She does have the actual highest life total in the game as a set play character, which yeah. is just wonderful. But she's also <laughs> doesn't do a ton of damage, which Correct. is nerfed, because in the earlier version, she did a ton of damage. Correct. Like Goichi first. actually initially played Fakia when she was significantly better than we stuck with her. Uh, so, Inzo switching you is H uh, Wark, uh, Red Arc Wind, we usually call her Wark. Um, this is a tricky character. She's very tricky. She's a. Uh, Nominally, kind of a stoner. Um, she has her aerial and ring specials that are very good. Or blood rings, I guess. Onion rings are a different character. But um, also has actually really good tools to fight. Have not good zoning tools. Um, she has like a full screen eye glare. Oh yeah, the eye glare. Yeah. Uh, the funniest OTG in the game. She just sweeps you three times. Uh, it is optimal. <laughs> but uh, and so looking a lot more comfortable here. Uh, Nanya, definitely a very teacher fan and character. Either gets going or he uh, looks kind of silly. He kind of has had the gamble on a DP. Uh, his normals are pretty subby. Um, but Goichi's pressure looking pretty inescapable right now. You can see he has so many tools. But the problem is if uh, Red Arc gets stuck in the corner, yes. really stuck. her defense is pretty bad. And, and she doesn't even have the teleport well. like uh, yeah. she does. Correct. Yeah. Um, Again, showing each moon uh, very different playstyles. Sea Wark is a very mobile character, and uh, H Wark can't have a harder time getting out. And Goichi actually dropped a fuzzy earlier and he dropped a uh, corner from there. A little sloppy, but. Um, Inso is actually uh, at Heaven or Hell. He brought out his uh, H Wark after his uh, Nani was having difficulty against Rocket Charm. So it looks like it's a preferred character against this kind of set play. So far, it's working a lot better. Uh, you can see she has pretty nice air normals, uh, and her blood ring really lets her uh, kind of wave it out a little bit. So, I don't know why he threw that at all. That was a little suspicious. Yeah, yeah the, nice. the guys are there. So, um... Oh, wow. Sorry, that was an interesting interaction. They just kind of both dashed at each other and did nothing. Um, the uh -oh, scary thing about F Akia, yeah, bad. her corner carry is insane. Any touch, you just uh, end up in this situation all over again. Yeah. I'm a little curious because 
F Akia there, when she uh, goes into heat with that combo, she Correct. can then drop down, lay a knot, and then get a pretty much guaranteed arc drive. Correct. She does actually have, they're not really unblockables, but they're basically inescapable from those characters. This should be done. Yeah, that, that's a set there. Nice. And uh, I believe we're two out of three until winners, losers, and grand finals. Right. So a great showing from Inslow. We'll yeah. see him again for sure. But uh, go one moves on to winners' finals. Now we have Butterfree, the oh. boy.